Which of the following systems applies and releases the brakes during normal driving conditions? A. Parking brake system. B. Emergency brake system. C. Service brake system. D. Combination brake system. Answer C. Service brake system. In the event of a brake system failure, which brake system is used to stop the vehicle? A. Service brake. B. Parking brake. C. Emergency brake. D. None of the above. Answer C. Emergency brake. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator in some air brake systems? A. To increase braking power. B. It prevents rust in the air tanks. C. To automatically drain the air tanks. D. Reduce the risk of ice in valves during cold weather. Answer D. Reduce the risk of ice in valves during cold weather. Which type of air tank expels water and oil automatically? A. Manual air tanks. B. Alcohol evaporators. C. Automatic air tanks. D. All of the above. Answer C. Automatic air tanks. What is the purpose of the safety relief valve in the air brake system? A. To protect the system from excessive pressure. B. To drain excess water and oil. C. To pump air into the system. D. To release air when the brake pedal is pressed. Answer A. To protect the system from excessive pressure. At what size is the safety valve usually set to open? A. 100 psi. B. 125 psi. C. 150 psi. D. 175 psi. Answer, C, 150 PSI. What happens when you push the brake pedal in an S-CAM brake system? A, the brake shoes are pulled towards each other. B, the brake camshaft remains stationary. C, air is released from each brake chamber. D, the S-CAM forces the brake shoes to press against the inside of the brake drum. Answer, D. The S-CAM forces the brake shoes to press against the inside of the brake drum. Which type of brake may require manual adjustment? A. S-CAM brakes only. B. Wedge brakes only. C. Both S-CAM and wedge brakes. D. Neither of them. Answer, B. Wedge brakes only. In air-operated disc brakes. What is used instead of the S-CAM? A. Slack adjuster. B. Brake chamber. C. Power screw. D. Brake lining pad. Answer. C. Power screw. What is the purpose of the low air pressure warning? A. To indicate that the brakes are functioning properly. B. To warn when the air pressure in the tanks falls below 60 psi. C. To show the speed of the vehicle. D. To indicate brake shoe wear. Answer. B. To warn when the air pressure in the tanks falls below 60 psi. What is the function of the wig-wag warning device? A. To signal the driver when the brake lights are malfunctioning. B. To warn other drivers when you put on the brakes. C. To show the speed of the vehicle. D. To drop a mechanical arm into the driver's view when the pressure in the system drops below 60 psi. Answer. D. To drop a mechanical arm into the driver's view when the pressure in the system drops below 60 psi. On large buses, at what side do the low pressure warning devices typically signal? A. 50 to 55 psi. B. 60 psi. C. 80 to 85 psi. D. 90 to 95 psi. Answer. C. 80 to 85 psi. Why is it essential to keep the front brake limiting valve control in the normal position? 
A. To increase the vehicle's speed. B. To ensure the wigwag functions correctly. C. To have normal stopping power. D. To activate the stoplight switch. Answer, C, to have normal stopping power. For what purpose does a modulating valve serve? A, to inflate the vehicle's tires. B, to sound the vehicle's horn. C, to apply the spring brakes gradually. D, to control the vehicle's speedometer. Answer, C, to apply the spring brakes gradually. If a vehicle with dual parking control valves loses main air pressure, what happens to the spring brakes? A. They are released. B. They remain unchanged. C. They come on. D. They become ineffective. Answer. C. They come on. Which vehicles are required to be equipped with anti-lock brakes if built on or after March 1, 1997? A. Truck tractors. B. Buses. C. Trailers. D. Personal cars. Answer. A. Truck tractors. What is the primary purpose of ABS? A. To increase the vehicle's braking capability. B. To shorten the stopping distance. C. To keep the wheels from spinning. D. To maintain vehicle control during hard braking. Answer. D. To maintain vehicle control during hard braking. Before driving a vehicle with a dual air system, what minimum side pressure should be built up in both the primary and secondary systems? A. 50 psi. B. 60 psi. C. 100 psi. D. 120 PSI. Answer. C. 100 PSI. If one air system is very low on pressure, what could be the implication? A. The vehicle's suspension will be adjusted to its softest setting. B. Either the front or the rear brakes may not operate fully. C. The vehicle's turbocharger will produce less boost. D. The steering wheel might feel harder to turn. Answer, B, either the front or the rear brakes may not operate fully. When inspecting a vehicle with air brakes, using the seven-step inspection procedure, when should you check the air compressor drive belt? A, during step one preliminary checks. B, during step two engine compartment checks. C, during step three interior checks. D, during step five walk-around inspection. Answer, B, during step 2 engine compartment checks. For a belt-driven air compressor, what should be the condition of the belt? A, it should be slightly loose for flexibility. B, it can be cracked as long as it's functioning. C, it should be in good condition. D, its tightness doesn't matter as long as it's present. Answer, C, it should be in good condition. When brakes with automatic adjusters are found to be out of adjustment, what should the driver do? A. Adjust them manually. B. Continue driving as they will self-adjust. C. Take the vehicle to a repair facility as soon as possible. D. Replace the automatic adjusters with manual ones. Answer. C. Take the vehicle to a repair facility as soon as possible. Brake drums, or discs, must not have cracks longer than A. The full width of the friction area B. One quarter the width of the friction area C. One half the width of the friction area D. Three quarters the width of the friction area Answer. C. One half the width of the friction area For a fully charged air system in a single vehicle, what should the air pressure drop be in one minute with the parking brake released? A. Less than 1 psi. B. Less than 2 psi. C. Less than 3 psi. D. Less than 4 psi. Answer. B. Less than 2 psi. 
If the warning signal does not work and you lose air pressure in a dual system, what could be the potential consequence? A. The vehicle will speed up. B. Stopping distance will be increased. C. The vehicle will swerve uncontrollably. D. The parking brake will engage immediately. Answer B. Stopping distance will be increased. At what pressure range should the tractor protection valve and parking brake valve close, causing the spring brakes to engage? A. 60 to 40 psi. B. 80 to 50 psi. C. 40 to 20 psi. D. 70 to 30 psi. Answer C. 40 to 20 psi. In single air systems, pre-1975, the pressure should build from 50 to 90 psi within how many minutes with the engine at an idle speed of 600 to 900 rpms? A. 2 minutes. B. 3 minutes. C. 5 minutes. D. 4 minutes. Answer B. 3 minutes. During the service brake test, if the vehicle pulls to one side when brakes are applied, this may indicate A. The vehicle's alignment is perfect. B. A problem with the air pressure. C. A malfunction or issue in the braking system. D. The road is sloping to one side. Answer C. A malfunction or issue in the braking system. For normal stops using air brakes, when should you push the clutch in if you have a manual transmission? A. Right after applying the brake pedal. B. When the engine RPM is down close to idle. C. Before the vehicle comes to a complete stop. D. It doesn't matter when you push the clutch in. Answer B. When the engine RPM is down close to idle. In a vehicle without ABS, what might happen if you brake hard on slippery surfaces? A. The vehicle's fuel efficiency may be temporarily compromised. B. The tire treads might adjust to a more aggressive pattern. C. The vehicle's stability control system will activate to counter skidding. D. The wheels may lock up, leading to a loss of steering control. Answer. D. The wheels may lock up, leading to a loss of steering control. During stab braking, what should you do if the wheels lock up? A. Continue pressing down on the brakes harder. B. Shift the vehicle into neutral. C. Release the brakes. D. Turn the steering wheel sharply to one side. Answer. C. Release the brakes. Which statement about brakes out of adjustment is true? A. They contribute more to stopping the vehicle. B. They stop doing their share of work after brakes that are in adjustment. C. They cool down faster than brakes in adjustment. D. They prevent other brakes from overheating. Answer. B. They stop doing their share of work after brakes that are in adjustment. What is the primary role of brakes on a long and or steep downgrade? A. They are the only method to slow down the vehicle. B. They are a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. C. They should be constantly applied to maintain speed. D. They recharge the vehicle's battery during descent. Answer. B. They are a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. When the low air pressure warning is activated, what should you do? A. Speed up to reach your destination quicker. B. Continue driving until you find a repair shop. C. Stop and park your vehicle safely as soon as possible. D. Only brake using the spring brakes. Answer. C. Stop and park your vehicle safely as soon as possible. Why should you never leave your vehicle unattended without applying the parking brakes or chalking the wheels? A. The vehicle might become faster. B. The vehicle's engine could overheat. C. The vehicle might roll away, causing potential damage or injury. D. The air pressure could increase. Answer. C. The vehicle might roll away, 
causing potential damage or injury.